Your visit to this country inevitably reminds us of our shared history, our common language, and our strong intellectual and cultural links. It also reminds us that your country twice came to the rescue of the free and democratic world when it was facing military disaster. On each occasion, after the end of those destructive wars, the generosity of the United States made a massive contribution to our economic recovery. Today, the United States remains our most important ally. It is unfortunate that there are so many troubles facing the world today. But we are encouraged that in most respects our two countries see these problems in the same light. For this reason, we have been able to act together in fields as varied as science, research, and higher education to find solutions or to at least make progress towards tackling so many of the social and economic difficulties that confront nations in all parts of the globe. Mr. President, I firmly believe that the strength of our links and many shared interests will continue to ensure that the, when the United States and the United Kingdom stand together, our people and other people of goodwill around the world will be more secure and can become more prosperous. It is a great honor to join you again in this great country as we reaffirm the enduring bonds between our two nations and reinforce this special relationship. I must say, though, this dinner is a humbling reminder of the fleeting nature of presidencies and prime ministerships. Your Majesty's reign has spanned about a dozen of each, and counting. That makes you both a living witness to the power of our alliance and a chief source of its resilience. Our alliance is a commitment that speaks to who we are. Our relationship rests on common language, common history, common adherence to the rule of law, the rights of men and women, the very ideals born in this nation. And yet, our relationship never rests. As we approach the 10th anniversary of 9-11, I'm particularly grateful for the solidarity that the United Kingdom has shown to America over the past decade. From that day to this, you have been our closest partner in the struggle to protect our people from terrorism attacks and violent extremism around the world, despite very heavy sacrifices here. We can have confidence in the partnership that our two countries share, based on the rock-solid foundation built during Queen Elizabeth's lifetime of extraordinary service to her nation and to the world. Mm -hmm.